Hi, my name is Sadafa Kondi. I'm 28 years old from New Bedford, Massachusetts. In 2001, I got lucky to have an opportunity to come to the U.S. to study, and I came from Guinea. I grew up in West Lawn Project in New Bedford. Went to middle school in Roosevelt. I didn't know a word of English at the time. I enrolled in seventh grade and had to take out all these classes that were taught in English, and no one at the school spoke French at the time. There was this disconnect where I had to do the work, but I didn't know what they were saying. So it was very difficult for me. I went to New Bedford High School for four years. So I took some AP courses. I didn't want to be labeled a nerd, so I did my work in class and kept my book in my locker. My guidance counselor told me that I could just do accounting because um, I was okay with math. So I had an option to go to college I chose UMass Dartmouth where I pursued accounting degrees for a while, but then I wanted to challenge myself, so I took uh, Calculus 2. In that Calculus 2 class, I did really well, so my teacher recruited me to come do research with him. And I was like, wait, what's research? He's like, I'll pay you, you can just come and do research. I told him I didn't want to be a teacher. He's like, no, with math, you can do more than teaching. So that's how my career started. Uh, after that, they recommended me to do REU, which is research experience for undergraduate. Did an REU in Baltimore County where it was the first of its kind. We worked on HPC, high performance computing. They taught us how to do parallel programming and things like that. Then I got more into it when I came back to UMass. So we had computers sitting down. A friend of mine and myself, we asked the department to give us those computers and we put them together and we made our first cluster. And we had 16 IMAX and it was really awesome. I continued uh, as an undergrad. I did two degrees in accounting and math. I decided to try grad school in computer science and engineering. With that, I was able, I was fortunate to get an internship at Sandia National Lab. I've been to a lot of places for conferences to present my work. I was able to go to China for a week and to present my work there, Japan. I was also fortunate enough to go to Greece to present there. So the PDEs that we work on, the people do large simulations for uh, when they're developing jet engines, tornado, hurricane simulations, or even when people are building skyscrapers and stuff like that. So they would do simulations and then they try to figure out exactly if there's a, an earthquake, um, if the buildings can withstand the earthquake and exactly what would happen. The exact solution doesn't exist for the PDEs and it's very expensive to do a laboratory experiment. So we do uh, numerical simulations on the computers to make sense of these things. Thousands of jobs uh, you can do with a computational science and engineering degree. Thousands? Thousands of jobs you can do. You can do software, develop, uh, software engineering, and if you're lucky enough, you can get a job at Google. Research scientists at Amazon or Facebook. You can work at IBM. I've met a few people at the conferences who work at Dell and Microsoft. So there's a lot of places you can get a job at. On all those jobs, you can make upwards in the six figures. Um, they're very lucrative. Other benefits include health insurance, and some people even offer you to go back to school and then they'll pay for your school too. The STEM degrees, you have a lot of amazing options out there. and The job placement is really good. And then you can work on some truly amazing things. You may be the one to solve some of the you know, unsolvable problems that are still out there. You can't be successful unless you try. Um, so just go out there and try, um, find mentors. So a lot of time I wanted to quit and if I didn't have the right mentors and advisors, I would have quit. Um, so, and then just stay motivated. You guys can start the next great app. You guys can be the next great inventor. We need you in the steam field, ladies and gentlemen.